this is an important step in caring for growing of uh, potatoes. I have to mow the meadow, so I have this uh, wheelbarrow load of clippings here now, and I'm going to put that around the potato plants just so the top few leaves are showing out. There's one here that's just coming up. And one here that's really low. Now I'll do this two or three more times during the growing season. And that'll keep the uh, sun off of any tubers that's near the surface. And of course it'll keep moisture in the ground. Now that the clippings are still green, it's hard to see them standing up. So you come down close and you can see that the clippings are put down right to the top of the plant. And I'll continue that with the rest of the bed and the other beds where potatoes are coming up. There are some plants that I don't like to mulch with the uh, meadow clippings, namely the smaller plants like carrots, beets, and turnip. But all of the bigger ones, um, potatoes, squash, and of course the beans, I like to mulch with the meadow clippings. And the black turtle beans that I have up there, you've already seen them already mulched, they are doing better than these. And the other variables, I don't think there's enough difference in the other variables to explain it. I think when I get these mulched, they will do much better. Now I gave these a good watering this morning. It's quite hot here now, 31 degrees, with a humidity of 46. I think the humidex is something like 36. But as I said, I watered them in this morning. And then I went cutting the meadow so I can get some mulch to put around them. Now, that bed has been mulched. This will all turn brown in a couple of days and you'll see just how well these have perked up than the beans themselves. They made some signs you see but I put the wrong one in here apparently. I have to switch them now. And as I said yeah, blackbird the vines should be mulched. The other uh, Dills Atlantic Giant, this is a Dills Atlantic Giant, and the ones that are mulched, which I showed you before, they're doing better than these, even though this one is doing quite nicely. The thing is with vines, what I'm afraid of is that if I just put the, the fresh clippings on like this, they can heat up and make this part of the vine too hot. Now, that's just what I'm thinking, so I'm not saying that's for certain. If you know better than me, well, let me know. Keep them well mulched and they will grow better. I've done this with uh, several of the this type of one and they're growing terrible until I mulched them and then they decided to take right off. 
I'm going to mulch this whole area around just because I can. The one that was over here, I showed you in another video, that had broken and so it died just because the uh, vine was broken. This is our potato tower experiment. I'm going to put some mulching around them, but I think for the potato tower, I'll have to alternate layers of mulch and either some sifted uh, topsoil or maybe some uh, humus, uh, four floor humus. Something more compacted than the just the fresh uh, meadow clippings in every second layer. Sea dews are out and on the run today. Except for potatoes, I like to have a layer of compost on top of the soil before I put everything in. But the way the year was going, and these beans were ready to uh, be put in, and I didn't have the bed ready, so I put them in, thinking I'd put the compost on, the, on it afterwards. And that's what I have here now. So I'm going to spread compost over, and then hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to mulch it. It's in the afternoon now, and it had gotten too hot. I was starting to get heat exhaustion, so I had to hide from the heat all afternoon. But look at this. One of the mustard plants are flowering already. As well as these. I'm not sure how, how high I'm going to let them grow. I have some potato weed, I call it. Volunteer potato that's growing here. Uh, like I said, I don't know how high I'm going to let them grow. Right now I'm going to mulch around them. But there's quite a few there that I'm going to take out now. That'll make things grow while keeping the moisture in. I also mulch between the rows of sugar beets today.
I didn't uh, put the metal clippings on this one. Main reason is because I planted some national picnic cucumber seeds here. See those three glass beads there? And there's three clear ones in there. And there's another three right here. You'll see why I did that in the uh, next Shed Wars video. I made signs for most of the plants now. That's the mulching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you in the next video.